So relapse after transplant remains a leading concern, um, especially in patients with myeloid malignancy such as AML and MDS. And when we look at uh, the incidence of relapse for the last 10 years, um, it's been quite stable. So any intervention that can help us um, improve this picture will be very welcome. In a number of studies now, um, it was clearly observed that the relapse risk is reduced when we use a younger unrelated donor compared to an older uh, sibling donor in an older patient. So when, when, when there is a patient that have the two donor types available, uh, it's a, it becomes a very practical clinical question which donor to choose from. Now, with a younger unrelated donor, there is a concern for an increased risk of graft versus host disease and transplant rate of mortality. However, uh, recent efforts in the field, um, uh, such as using post-transplant cyclophosphamide, um, have clearly demonstrated that you can reduce the risk of transplant rate of mortality, um, and, and therefore you retain the benefit of more um, potent graft versus leukemia effect, while you are not facing the high risk of GVHD, um, and therefore hopefully that will improve overall survival.